On 7th April 2006, on an episode of Smackdown, WWE witnessed one of the biggest humans in the world, the Great Khali. Now this guy is very tall. Nobody has ever seen a guy like that. And the first thing that this guy does in WWE, he goes straight face to face with The Undertaker. The Undertaker was having a match against Mark Henry. The Undertaker had an upper hand in that match. But when Undertaker gave a leg drop to Mark Henry, the great Kali came out. Undertaker was speechless. Undertaker punched him one time. Nothing happened. Undertaker punched him second time. Again, nothing happens. He does it again. Still nothing happened. The great Kali chops Undertaker on the head, tears turnbuckle pad and throws him head first on that exposed turnbuckle. He kicked him, gave him a big boot standing tall in the ring. On next Smackdown, the great Kali came in the ring to hype up himself. His manager, Daivavi, started hyping him up. Said Undertaker will worship him. The great Kali said something which even I didn't understand. Remember me last time? And on next Smackdown, the great Kali again talked. And he shouldn't talk that much, I think so. But anyways, WWE made him talk. On next Smackdown, the great Kali destroyed all the three cruiserweights which were having a match on Smackdown. The Undertaker was not seen on television since the Great Kali attacked him. It's pretty rare to see WWE giving so much importance to the Great Kali rather than Undertaker. You come and directly have a rivalry with the Undertaker. It's pretty great achievement. On next Smackdown, the Great Kali had a match with Rey Mysterio where he defeated Rey Mysterio. I can say he demolished Rey Mysterio. On the next Smackdown, the Great Kali and Daivari came in the ring and started a video about Undertaker's career. And then he showed the video how Great Kali ended Undertaker's career. On next Smackdown, WWE went little far. Roddy Piper hosted his show and Roddy Piper said that Great Kali is a lucky man. He is facing a man like Undertaker. Not many people get that chance. The Great Kali grabbed Roddy Piper's neck and Roddy Piper punched Daivari. But the Great Kali destroyed Rowdy Roddy Piper within seconds. On next episode of Smackdown, the Great Kali defeated the Mexicos. The Undertaker was still not on television. Everybody was waiting for Undertaker to come. On next Smackdown, the Great Kali mocked The Undertaker by doing his signature pose and challenged The Undertaker at Great American Bash 2006 in a Punjabi prison match. On next Smackdown, The Great Kali had a match with Tatanka. The Great Kali defeated him and then The Great Kali had brought a casket with him. He once again challenged The Undertaker for a match and demanded an answer. When Daivari opened that casket, a smoke came out from that casket. The light started flickering and a message played in the arena from Undertaker accepting The Great Kali's challenge. On next Smackdown, The Undertaker finally appeared. The Great Kali and Daivari were in the ring. They said The Undertaker did not show up last week and then the lights went out and The Undertaker came in the ring. The Undertaker made a lightning strike right in the front of Great Kali, but the Great Kali didn't even flinch. The Great Kali was going for Undertaker, but Daivari stopped him. And then the day came at the Great American Bash 2006, Undertaker was scheduled to face the Great Kali in a Punjabi prison match. But according to reports, the Great Kali was not well that day, and he was not cleared to wrestle. So Big Show replaced him. Now Undertaker and Big Show had their match at Great American Bash 2006 in a Punjabi prison match. The Undertaker defeated him. I don't know why, but Big Show started crying after losing the match. Now the rivalry needed to end. The Great Kali most of the time mocked Taker, dominated Taker, and on next episode of SmackDown, Undertaker took on King Booker. King Booker was World Heavyweight Champion at that time, but it was a non-title match, so they have a really good match and when Undertaker was so close to win, the Great Kali came and the Great Kali chopped Taker, but Taker got up, gave some punches and gave him a clothesline to send him out of the ring. Then Undertaker challenged the Great Kali in a last man standing match and on next Smackdown, the Great Kali were in the ring. The Great Kali manager said that, the Great Kali will not accept Undertaker's challenge for a last man standing match. The Undertaker came, attacked Great Kali's manager and gave Great Kali a massive choke slam. And then the day comes, The Undertaker vs Great Kali in last man standing match. And the match was really okay. Especially when Kali is there, it had one of the most normal endings in the last man standing match. The Great Kali was busted open, The Undertaker gave two chair shots to Kali and gave a massive choke slam. He was also going to pin here, but he realized it was a last man standing match. So no pinfall. And Undertaker won that match. And this was the first rivalry of the Great Curly. Taker played his role very good. 
tells you how great he is in every aspect of professional wrestling so that was it this was the whole rivalry of the undertaker and great curly so i hope you have liked this video till then see you soon